is something I'm going to try new this year is, is bringing some more information through a video blog, sharing some of the information uh, from across the capital of, of some of the news that, that has happened in the past week. We've wrapped up week one where on Monday the governor gave her state of the state address. We had a joint session between the House and the Senate uh, where she brought her vision for the 2017 legislative session. We're facing a, a approximately $860 million budget hole as we walk into this next legislative session and, and she proposed uh, about $1.5 billion worth of tax increases. We're not always going to agree. I definitely don't agree with every proposal that the governor put forward. Um, I believe that we need to have a responsible approach, a conservative approach to the, the, the issues facing Oklahoma. After Monday, we really started the rest of the week in working through the committee process, something that's unique. Uh, I've been in the legislature seven years, and I don't, I don't know that I can remember a time where in the first week of session we heard bills on the House floor. And I think that sets a really uh, important tone going into the rest of session that we're serious about the issues that are facing Oklahoma this year. A couple highlight issues that, that passed this week, uh, the, the fix for the real ID issue uh, that has been facing Oklahoma for several years uh, made its way through my committee that I'm chairman of, the House Rules Committee, uh, passed through that committee and is headed towards the House floor Will it, be, it will be heard uh, sometime next week. It's extremely important to me and my office that I hear from you, uh, whether you're Republican, Democrat, Independent, I want to hear from you uh, and, and hear your views on some of the things that we're looking at. It's an honor to be able to serve you at the constituency of House District 27, and I look forward to providing more information as we go along.